Hey Captain Doug Tyler. Put together a real quick video. I have a Volantex Phoenix 2400 motor glider that I've had and flown for a, better than a year. I now live down in the Nyharn area of Phuket and I have some uh, ridges I can soar it off of. So I went and flew it uh, a few times and in heavy winds I couldn't get it to come down gracefully. I ended up doing a run into the bushes, uh, even with full flaps. So I just, you know, I'm like, gosh, you got to put spoilers or air brakes, they might be called, uh, on this glider to get it to descend. So I didn't see anybody else doing one on, on YouTube. So um, I went through some kind of design ideas, looked and got some ideas uh, off the internet. And I'll share those in this video. And uh, it went together fairly quickly. And I've got several videos and some still photos showing that. The days... Uh, uh, that I flew and tested it. There's a video of me uh, getting ready to fly it, or actually I just flew it. Uh, but my photographer wasn't here to f uh, document the actual descent rate improvement uh, with the spoilers and, and different um, varying amounts of spoiler. So I don't really have that footage. I've got some footage of a general flying there at the site so you get an idea of the site. But it was a real, it was an uh, enjoyable thing to do. It wasn't that difficult. Uh, share these ideas with you guys so maybe it'll save you some time. Uh, I kept mine really simple, K-I-S-S. -S. I just wanted to not, not even get into a bunch of linkages, linkages and, and things. This is a foamy glider, motor glider. And um, enjoy it. Hope, it. hope it helps somebody. If you like it, like it, uh, comment, and subscribe. Thanks. I'm adding uh, <clears throat> speed brakes or air brakes to my uh, Phoenix 2400 motor glider, such, such, uh, because I slope soar and I can't get her to come down, so with uh, even with full flaps. So here's my mock up. I've got my Fly Sky radio. I'm putting it on this, this roller because I've got the flaps here on my three position. So here's what the roller just, just did this this morning. Got my little servo in there, my little geared servo. Um, I just use a piece of foam to simulate the wing, so I made my cutout, as I'm sure most of you are familiar with. We installed some servos, flaps, or whatnot. And then I've got that arm that lifts up and pushes up on on the uh, what's going to be an air brake. That's just a demo plastic. I'll go with uh, balsa. But just preliminary, this works. I get more than 90 degrees travel out of the uh, airfoil. Most of the guys I see on YouTube are, are using a 60 degree. And of course, the air pressure going forward will uh, help bring the uh, speed brake back down or air brake. I got some little magnets. I don't have the cool ones. Uh, some of the guys got I just bought some local stuff. I think I can make, adapt to help park that air brake down so that the low pressure over the wing won't try to suck that up. I don't think that's going to be a huge problem, but magnets will encourage it to stay down. Uh, I'll make it more flush when I do it in the actual airplane. I've just got a tape hinge, which uh, probably is going to be adequate on most things. I, I may incorporate nylon hinges into it when I get it going. But anyway, there we are. I'll try to shoot some more things as we go on and put together a YouTube. I'm out doing my first flight test with my uh, spoilers on my Phoenix 2400. Um, I'm showing you this view because that's um, right where I'm at. Gives me a pretty good descent rate. I'm flying on almost a zero wind day today and I'm not on the cliff soaring. 
um, so I'll probably need a little more. Here's, uh, I'll show you on my radio. Here's my fly sky. The two red marks on the roller are the limits. And you can see I'm about in the middle right now. It gives me that much throw. I've got like a about a 70 degree. I'll show you some of that. Uh, and one of my magnets came off. So there's, there's uh, flush, if you will. There's where I just showed you. And there's max. Um, I get a pretty good descent rate. Again, no wind, so I'm not fighting any thermaline or anything like that. I've marked my marked my uh, red marks so that my um, servos don't sit there and buzz. That's not good for them. So again, and one of my magnets came off this morning. See how that drops down? Gives a little bit of weight and it just holds it. Uh, everybody on YouTube's doing that. I put actual hinges like you would for a rudder or something. Nylon hinges, fairly big, just two of them there. I did some tape, like this kind of tape, temporarily to see how it was and it made the hinge action just way too stiff so I pulled it right off uh, I epoxied those hinges in on the on the spoiler and into the foam so I don't think they're gonna come off okay so we'll fly a little more and see how she does <laughs> 